though. Let's get some perspective from Naomi Fink. She's senior currency analyst at Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi UFJ. Naomi, Naomi, good to have you with us. Now, dollars up. Is this a temporary relief or a turning point for the currency? I'm not sure we can really call this dollar relief because what we're seeing is a sell-off in a commodity-led, commodity currency-led sell-off. Uh, and these are this is happening because of recession fears. So I think we're seeing dollar relief against the wrong currencies at the moment if we want to see it as a signal that the worst is over. So when do you see the dollar dropping again? When the Fed starts cutting rates again? I think that the dollar is going to drop against the euro and especially against the yen. Again, perhaps we'll start seeing the yen um, take the lead once again in the new fiscal year, just because towards year end, we do see some reasons why the yen might remain under pressure. The Bank of Japan, for instance, tends to, end, uh, tends to add liquidity over year end. And this, all things equal, is going to increase the supply of yen. Now, some say the commodity slump that we saw uh, is a way for investors to say that a dollar has fallen far enough. It's now filtered through. What, what do you make of that? That's one way to look at it. Um, another way to look at it, however, is that commodities have been supported on hopes that Firstly, we weren't going to see a slump in global growth. And if we did see a slowdown in the U.S., it was going to be offset by demand elsewhere. Perhaps that commodities are now falling signals that that confidence is waning. Now, if we take a look at the dollar movements, uh, it's rebounded 3% since its record low earlier this week. What's your dollar target against the yen and the euro for the coming weeks? 152, 150? Well, against the euro, um, I think that we're likely to see uh, an earlier rebound in the euro. So, uh, so if we see um, the, the euro back up again uh, against the dollar towards 155, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the only thing is that because of the factors that might temporarily weigh on the on the yen before year end. I don't expect um, a very large decline before fiscal year end uh, in dollar yen. So I wouldn't be surprised if it stayed within a, a fairly narrow range, for instance, between 98 and 101 or so. Now, uh, we've seen the sell off in the commodities markets. How does that affect the prospects of commodity currencies such as the Aussie and the Kiwi? What's your take on that? I think the Aussie and the Kiwi declines are a long time in coming. They've had a very good run because commodities have had a very good run. We've heard from the RBA that one of their preconditions for remaining on a, 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 a tightening cycle is, um, is terms of trade. If commodities slump, then so will Australian terms of trade, so will Kiwi terms of trade, and their currencies should fall under pressure. Some still believe in a stronger commodity story. So is it a buying opportunity for commodity currencies? What are you telling your clients? Well, we've seen a, a very good rally um, thus far in commodities. And that rally probably has run ahead of demand a little bit if we look at speculative buildup in oil and, and, uh, and in some of the base metals. In gold, um, there was talk of raising margining requirements, perhaps, in some of the commodities. If that happens, then I think we'll, uh, we'll see a, a permanent uh, drop. We'll see a, well, well, a semi-permanent drop. We'll see a, a, a few levels lower, probably, in commodity prices. I, I think we're done with the commodity rally. Now, the credit crisis is still unfolding. What are the risks that financial institutions besides Bay and Credit Suisse are facing cash shortages or even more with write downs due to uh, credit market losses? What's your take on that? Well, with the credit market losses at the moment, I think confidence is very important. And that means that it just isn't going to be over until it's over, until confidence uh, stabilizes and until people stop selling the, uh, the assets that, uh, that, that right now are under so much pressure. Um, I don't think confidence is strong enough to, uh, to, to bottom just yet. Um, the, Fed's, uh, the Fed's actions right. usually, used to t uh, usually take action within six to 12 months. Okay, Naomi Fink, thanks for your assessment.